it is my privilege to welcome you to a student-centered, student-run baccalaureate for the class of 2014. Reflection and Thanksgiving. As you can feel in this room, the excitement and the energy and the packed crowd, there are many people thanking God they finally made it. <laughs> we have so much to be proud of with this graduating class, and we will reflect on them in the next coming days with a phenomenal graduation ceremony coming this Saturday. But they can be proud of so many things, but the biggest thing is how they have matured over the last four years. We are excited to see you celebrate tonight in an inspirational ceremony. We do have to thank Christ Church of Mason for hosting us in this phenomenal facility. Let's hear it from Christ Church of Mason. We'd also like to thank the student leaders that practiced and organized this event. Let's hear it for our student leaders. Also, the faculty member that led, pushed, pulled, critiqued them along the way, and that's Mrs. Ann Delahanty King. <laughs> and one person that does not get a lot of credit that usually does a lot of work in the background, and that would be Mrs. Terry Kahn. hope you enjoyed this evening. We are thrilled to hear the talent and the inner insight for the class of 2014. Thank you. Enjoy the evening. terms, the community of Kings has been a home to me for 12 long years. A home at Kings has come not only for me as a student, but for me as a kid to play in, a teenager to hang around, and as a young adult to prepare myself to leave for the very first time. I am blessed truly to have the world's most loving and supporting parents, and I thank God for their presence every day. However, when my teenager self was fuming over unnecessary early morning parental enthusiasm, <laughs> we all know how early mornings go for teenagers. Or if I needed a place to turn in the middle of the day, in the middle of a rough class, the community of kings was, and still is, there for me. Mr. Mater hammers home the ideals of legacy and community within the walls of the high school campus. But tonight, I'm here to show you that these ideals are the foundation for Kings itself. In the making of my speech, like any tech-savvy teen these days, I pulled my inspiration off the social media buzz that is happening all around us. So this is proof to the Kings faculty and administration that social media is not just an in-class distraction. <laughs> I actually found my inspiration from the workings of the Twitterverse, in a long chain of sentimental pictures posted from an anonymous senior from a nameless school. Many of you may have already seen said tweet, and for those of you still confused about the word Twitterverse, don't worry, I'll explain. Format of the tweet, my speech follows similarly to the ridiculously annoying 12 Days of Christmas Carol. Basis is the same, but the days are now years, and there is no repeating, and I won't be singing because ask any Honor Spanish 2 kids how that turns out. <laughs> so to begin, 12 years ago. 12 years ago, we entered the Kings Local School District, into South Lebanon Elementary, Kings Mills Elementary, and the best, J.F. Burns Elementary. Yeah. <laughs> We entered as youthful first graders, stepping away from home for the whole day. We ordered our first cafeteria food, and I explicitly remember breaking down 
in tears in a mass confusion of my first lunch line. <laughs> we read our first textbooks. We used those overhead projectors that even our parents used. You know, the ones with the dry erase markers, remember those? <laughs> we met our first friends, friends we will never forget, no matter what distance lies beyond these last few weeks. We learned our first life lessons from our first great teachers, second parents to us, teaching us not only to become great students, but great individuals as well. Life lessons that shaped us as pupils of the community of Kings, teaching us the beauty of our own contribution to Kings, not just the contribution that Kings bestowed upon us. Lessons that made an impact, not only then, but now. Lessons of sharing, and lessons of genuine caring. This is the greatest aspect of Kings, the fact that we, as students of Kings, are not only taught how to multiply or divide, but we are taught to care for our fellow classmates. Something is to be said about the effectiveness of a simple hug. In a world that has moved away from societal affection, moved towards a life confined to the screen of a smartphone, it is nice to take a moment now to remember the simple pleasure of receiving a true hug from a teacher, from a classmate, and to remember the joy it brought to our lives as elementary students. Just hug somebody tonight, okay? <laughs> Eight years ago. Eight years ago, we entered the gigantic green hallways of Columbia Elementary, and for the first time, we were the class of 2014. We made new friends, and we lost old ones. But overall, we came together as a class. Even though we battled the pressures of our first boyfriend-girlfriend relationships, and the childish games of passing notes, and he shed, she shed, we made it through. We played softball like major leaguers, and we lip-synced with the passion of rock stars. <laughs> we sat on two different sides of the cafeteria. We represented the cultures of nearly 100 countries, and yet we were one. Columbia. Mm, Columbia. <laughs> Palace of preteen awkwardness. <laughs> Shoulder-length hair for both boys and girls. <laughs> and the only place on earth that fought the use of flip-flops like the play. <laughs> we learned so much, from ancient Egypt to bottle rockets, and we were placed on the Underground Railroad at Camp Campbellgard. That is not all to take away from our two years. We learned to laugh at our embarrassing moments and cherish our victories, no matter big or small. In a time when many felt the first strains of the changing social interaction, you no know, guys talking to girls at recess instead of playing ball. Granted, I know for a fact girls still had cooties at this time. <laughs> we kept ourselves composed. Through the rough seas of middle school, human nature states that we should have pulled others down to save ourselves from drowning in the roaring tide of being cool. But we didn't, and we wouldn't. Sure, there was the inevitable drama of middle school and the fallout between elementary friends, but we made up. We gave into the aura of community that enveloped us on our journey of maturation. We took our first steps to becoming the leaders of kings that are sitting before me here tonight. Six years ago. Six years ago, we woke up before dawn for the first time. And we entered the brand new halls of King's Junior High School. We christened a new building with numerous firsts, a new schedule with home base, the new cafeteria, and the first King's freshman camp in history. Well, to be totally honest, I thought about not mentioning junior high to save everyone in this room from pure humiliation. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry, it had to be done. We can all think of the awkward moments from our two years cow pen of chill time. <laughs> the 15 minutes before school every day in the gym. And the stereotypical junior high dances with 15 feet of space separating the guy's side from the girl's side. <laughs> junior high, 
although for many who wish to quickly forget, was extremely memorable. We, as a class of 2014, had absolutely no luck with buses. <laughs> the crash on the way to the Career Center field trip. <laughs> and that two hour delay in the freezing cold, middle of nowhere, rest stop Ohio, because of a loose lug nut <laughs> in the engine on our way to Washington, D.C. Speaking of D.C., The memories of juvenile flair, flat bills, shutter shades, <laughs> DC sweatshirts, those outrageous bell buckles, you know the ones this big, constituted 90% of the purchases we brought back. We can positively say we're the only class to go to DC and bring back swine flu. <laughs> So many memories of marvelous museums, or just the museum steps where everybody eventually ended up anyways. The dinner cruise, and the hard rock. Who, for, who can forget the smell of the bus after the YMCA? Oh. <laughs> it was our first real time on our own. The first time we had to deal with ourselves and our newfound responsibility. We were expected to handle ourselves as adults the way only the community of kings can expect from its 13 and 14 year olds. We matured beyond our age, and we exceeded expectations in our transition from one side of the building to the next. Four years ago. Four years ago, well actually doing quick math, about three years, nine months, and a couple days ago, <laughs> we stepped into the building of King's High School as the newest stock of fresh meat. <laughs> We entered with a fear of everything new, mostly a fear of the upperclassmen and a fear of the stairs. <laughs> we made mistakes, but hopefully nobody bought pool or elevator passes. We took our first honors classes, studied intently for the first time. We had the world's greatest sub, Brennan Bauman from Bluffton. <laughs> student section, and somehow, some way, we survived. I mean, guys, it wasn't that bad. We escaped the horrors of freshman year relatively unscathed. And then something magical happened. We were labeled. No class before us had the privilege. We became four simple numbers, but so much more. Sophomore year, triumph of the pep rally. <laughs> No other class had pulled together such an effort, and we were officially labeled as 2014. We were the coolest group of sophomores ever. <laughs> we even had our own slogan. A rallying war cry to be echoed through the next three years. And do any underclassmen in the room, you know, back there, looking at you right now, just because we're leaving don't mean we can't run this anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Class spirit would continue on into our junior year and beyond. Junior year, we started our collective search for our next homes, our next respective kings. Something is to be said about our maturity during junior year. Something just clicked, and we became leaders for the school to look up to heading into our senior year. Nine months ago. Nine months ago. Nine months ago. Nine months ago, we smiled for our last school pictures. We got our last seven bell schedules. We picked out our last first day of school outfits. We started our season of last this senior year, our last Friday night football game, our last victorious pep rally, our last marching band performance, our last role in the play, our senior nights. And the eerie feeling of our eventual departure became tangible at the start of second semester. We fretted over our college decisions eagerly awaiting our acceptance letters, pouring in from not only 
all over the state, but from all over the country as well. Nine months ago, we were worried about who was gonna sit next to us in class. Now look where we are. We are heading out, exiting this community that has nurtured our growth for the entire time we have spent here at Kings. Sure, some of us joined the family a bit later than others, but everyone has contributed their part to 2014. We made friends this year that make us proud to be a part of this group. Friends that, no matter the mileage between campuses this fall, are set to stay together. Friends that we will take into our next communities as a reminder of kings. We laughed, we cried, and we grow wary of our last few carefree moments in this place. But it's time to continue that friendship. Time to take kings with us. The hardest part to a speech is the closing. The hardest part to a closing is the goodbye. But I don't think that tonight is a goodbye. Rather, it is a celebration of a new beginning. Tonight marks a new community for the class of 2014, and a new community for Kings, a community that stretches from Columbia, South Carolina, to Oahu, Hawaii, from Tallahassee, Florida, to New York, New York. A community of willing and loyal people, a community of classmates turned friends, a community that the next generation of students here at King's can look up to. Sooner now than ever, the culmination of our King's life will arrive. But when we walk across that stage, we won't walk out the doors forever. The ideas that we learned at King's will stay long with us after we have found the second home. So like I said, tonight is not a goodbye. Tonight is a celebration celebration of what has been and what has yet to become of the group before me. Just remember, while this moment is special, it is not our last. The journey does not end here. This special journey that started 12 long years ago.